In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can install WP Server Security plugin on our WordPress website. And we'll take a look at how we can use this plugin to secure our website. So if you want to secure your WordPress website using WP Server Security plugin, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any notification for our future video. All right. So in this series of WordPress security for beginners in this episode, we are going to take a look at how we can install and set up WP server security plugin. And we will also take a look at what are the options available by which we can protect our WordPress website using this plugin. So let's dive in in the WordPress backend and I'll show you everything step by step. So here we are in our WordPress backend and if we go to our plugin section, we don't have anything yet. So let's click on add new. And here we will type in server security and this is the plugin we need to install. Let's click on install now. All right, now let's click on activate. All right, so now the plugin is installed. Let's go to the dashboard and here is the welcome screen. Let's click on awesome to close this. And this is the main dashboard of this plugin where we will see all the things happening for malicious activity mitigated, spam comment denied and various other things that this plugin will keep doing in the back end. And we will see all the summarized report here on this dashboard. Below that, we have the user activity like the users or the people who are logging in in the WordPress website. All that activity will be displayed here. Below that, we have malicious activity and recently blogged out IP addresses. So all that will be listed here on the dashboard. After that, we have the activity tab. Here, all the visitors on your WordPress website will be visible here. So you will be able to track all the traffic coming onto your WordPress server. After that, we have sessions. So right now, the only session is me because that's a fresh website. And as an admin, I am logged in. So it's showing me the user and it's also showing that it's administrator and we have the creation date of this session and the expiry that after this much of time, it will be logging me out. After that, we have the IP address and the host. And if we move to the next step, that is lockouts. So if in case, if this plugin locks out anyone, then that activity will be visible here. After that, we have the main settings where we will do all the backend settings here. So we will come back to this in a minute. After that, we have the access list so we can enter the whitelist IPs as well as the blacklisted IPs here. But we won't do any IP addition here in the whitelist because we don't want to bypass anyone from these security checks. After that, we have hardening options. So it covers some of the little bit advanced features on this plugin that can be used to secure your WordPress website. After that, we have the notification center where this plugin will send the notifications about security and various things that it is doing. So they need a email ID where they can send all these notifications. So if you keep this email address blank, it will use the administrator email ID or you can enter any custom email ID here. So let's go back to the main setting and see how we can use this plugin. So let's click on main settings here. And here we have the login security that is the brute force attack mitigation and user authentication settings. So here the first option is limit login attempts. Right now it's set to five retries that are allowed within 30 minutes. So I would prefer to keep it a little low. So I will make it three retries are allowed within 30 minutes. And if the IP is now getting blocked after the third failed try, so it will be blocked for the next 60 minutes. That's perfectly fine. And after that, we have an option for those who are aggressively trying to do this brute force attack. So after that, we have an option for mitigate aggressive attempts. So that will be logging out for the next 24 hours. Below that, we have the use white IP access list. So if in case we add anyone in this white list here, this is going to use this white list to bypass the security check. But that we don't want. We want everybody to go through the security checks. 
And after that, we have processing of WP login.php. How should that be processed? So if there's any request for WP login.php, you can block that access. So I will leave it to default processing. Below that, we have an option to disable the default login error message and the default reset password message. So I will leave it as it is. And if we scroll down, we have a major section here, which allows us to customize the login URL. So you can enter any URL here like my admin instead of WP dash admin. And after that, we have proactive security rules. So here it says disable automatic redirection to login page when WP admin is requested by any unauthorized request. So we want to disable that for sure. After that, we have non existing users. So it will immediately block all those who are trying to enter the username, which is not present on your WordPress website. So for example, if someone is trying to enter XYZ as admin username, and that XYZ admin is not registered on your website. So this plugin, this option will directly block that IP address considering that it's trying to do brute force attack because that XYZ admin is not present on this website. After that, we have request WP login.php. So immediately block the IP address, which is directly requesting for WP login.php. So I will leave it as it is. And we also have an option to block entire subnet C or intruders IP. So that is, that will be very major thing to do. I will not do that. And below that we have some advanced options so you can leave them as it is. So let's go ahead and click on save changes. Now one major thing that you need to consider here is that you have just updated the login URL of your WordPress admin panel. So it's better we open this admin panel with the new URL in a private window and see if we are able to log in. And if we are and if in case it doesn't work, this is the time we can go ahead and come back and remove this custom URL so that we can go back to WP dash admin. Because if we log out from here right now, there won't be any way to log back in if this custom URL doesn't work. So this is the time that you should go ahead and open the private window and try this admin URL and see if that works for you or not. So here is our website URL that we have just created. Let's go ahead and try to enter WP admin. And as soon as we hit enter, now you see that this thing is blocked. We don't have any way that we can use WP dash admin and, and see the login form of WordPress. Let's try with WP login dot PHP. So right now it's opening. Now let's come back here and let's block the immediate block IP attempting login with non existing username and immediately block IP after any request to WP login dot PHP. So here processing of WP login dot PHP authentication request, let's go ahead and block access to WP login dot PHP. After that, let's click on save changes. And I have already turned on my VPN network. So right now my IP has been changed. So let's go ahead and try it again. So if I open WP and so if I open WP admin, it's not opening up. And if I open WP login.php, still it's not opening up. Let's try one more time. WP admin. Nope, it's not working. Let's try with WP login.php again it's not working so let's try with my admin so this is the fourth time i'm trying to access the login page and now it's showing that i am not allowed for the next 60 minutes to attempt any login so that's what we have already done in the backend settings so let me just turn off my vpn network copy this URL. Let's open this here. And now I am able to log in. So this is how you can set these limitations to these login attempts. And the options are pretty straightforward. And after the main settings, let's come back to hardening option. Here we can see that it has prevent username discovery. So it will hide all the usernames that 
anyone will not be able to see what are the usernames present on this WordPress website because in the previous settings we have already blocked any attempt of brute force attack using non-existing usernames so it's better we protect the username from any xml sitemaps as well and after that we have some advanced feature disable php in upload so we will block that uh, option so no one will be able to upload any php file in the wordpress upload directory and that will be very helpful if in case you are using any file uploading form anywhere on your WordPress website. So with this, no one will be able to upload any executable PHP file on your website server. Below that, we have disable XML RPCs and disable feeds. So if you want, you can go ahead and turn it on. So let's go ahead and save changes. After that, let's move on to traffic inspector. And here we can see all the traffic that is coming on our WordPress website. So right now we can see that we have two visitors and that's actually me. And here we can see that attempt to access prohibited URL. It's already mentioning here that this IP address was trying to access a URL which is unauthorized. So it's denied here. After that we have settings for this live traffic. Here we have the maximum capability. And here we have an option to track all traffic if you want to see everybody coming on your WordPress website. So that's you can do from here, but I'll keep it to minimal so that we don't overload the database. So let's click on save changes. After that we have user policies. So here you will be able to define the access or denial of any page or backend options depending upon the role of that user in the backend. After that we have the global settings. So this is what you can assign for globally for all the users. So here is an interesting feature that it shows that restrict email addresses. So right now it's set to no restrictions, but there are two very interesting options: Deny all email address that match the following. So if in case you want to block or avoid any user which has a pattern of email address and you don't want those email address users to be registered on your WordPress website, you can do that from here. And below that it also has an option to permit only email address that matches the following so you can add a pattern of email id that you want that your users need to enter and those are the only users that will be allowed to register on this website so that's a pretty cool feature and again we have authorized users only so only the registered users will be able to log in so if you want you can turn that on and we also have prohibited usernames so of course if we if you remember a few minutes back, we have set the non-existing usernames to be blocked and we don't want that some usernames and we also don't want that people should enter username like admin, administrator or something like that. So we can add the list of prohibited usernames that anyone can use while registering on this website. So that's a pretty interesting feature. So let's go ahead and click on save. After that, we have site integrity. So here we can start scanning for viruses and malwares. And after that we have the settings option which we don't need to do anything. Let it be on the default settings. After that in the scheduling you can schedule the scanner but that is actually for the premium version. And if we go down in the anti-spam section we have the anti-spam op option that we can turn on from server security anti-spam engine. So that will be applied on all the forms on your WordPress website. Along with that, we have Google reCAPTCHA as well and that we can add to almost all the forms. After that, we have tools. So that is how you set up WP Server Security plugin on your WordPress website and you have seen how strong it is in protecting some malicious activities on the WordPress backend. Go ahead and try this plugin and I'm sure it will be helpful for you to protect your WordPress website. And if you want to learn more about WordPress security, then you can check our complete playlist WordPress security for beginners. The link is in the i button above and the video description below. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we publish the next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.